Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today for this quick hit about our new table reports. My name is Alice Rich, and I am the product manager working on our new table reports. And I have spent most of my waking hours over the last two years thinking about our new table reports, and I've loved it. So I'm really excited to share some of that with you today. To set the stage a little bit, I'll start by giving a little context on the UI refresh as a whole. Then I'll talk about the new table report journey and how we got here. Then I'll switch it up and demo some of our cool new stuff, and then I'll wrap things up. Listing our key takeaways up front here. The most important one is that the new table reports have arrived. They are here, they are generally available, and they include the most powerful features from the legacy report, along with many exciting new ones. I've list some of, listed some of those exciting new ones over here on the right-hand side, but I don't wanna spoil the surprise too much, so I'm gonna keep moving for now. All right, so first, a little background on the UI refresh. As you may have heard, QuickBase is in the middle of a multi-year journey to refresh our entire user interface top to bottom called the UI refresh. We're approaching this on a feature with a feature by feature approach. In the last year, our focus has been on new table reports and new dashboards, and I'm sure you've heard of those since they are the first major features to be released as part of the UI refresh project. This refresh has a ton of benefits apart from the obvious, but first let's start with the obvious. First, it will provide a more modern and consistent experience across the entire platform. So before we started this project, we heard from customers sometimes, you know, I love your product and what I can do with it, but you know, I just don't wanna show it to my boss because sometimes it doesn't look the best. So there is an aspect of stepping up that curb appeal. Next, there are also benefits that aren't so obvious. For each element of the UI refresh, since we are quite literally rebuilding them from the ground up, we will also get a chance to um, refresh the sort of technical underpinnings. This allows us to build each of them with support of international characters and accessibility in mind, which is really exciting. Plus, it also speeds up our delivery of new features in the long term, since we'll be working in a more modern code base and it's much easier for us to make changes without breaking something else unexpectedly and having to go back and fix a bunch of bugs. So a little bit of background on the UI refresh as a whole. Now let's talk about new table reports specifically. Since table reports lie at the heart of so many quick base interactions, we wanted to make sure that we took the time to get things right. So we started work on them a little over two years ago in February of 2019. This is just a little timeline of the journey that we've taken over the last two years to get here. After we started in February, we had a few months of work uh, before we started our first limited beta program in October of 2019. In that, we invited over a thousand customers to try things out before launching our first ever open beta program at Empower last year in June of 2020. That's when you started seeing that new style beta toggle appear on your screen. This was really great because it allowed any user that was interested to try things out and share their thoughts with us. And as of yesterday, May 24th, we have officially completed our GA rollout to make the new table report the default experience for all users across the platform, which is an incredibly exciting milestone. Since we opened that open beta program, since we started that open beta program rather, uh, we have gotten a ton of engagement, which has been really helpful. In that time, we've gotten over 560,000 clicks on the toggle to enable the new table report. Those clicks were performed by 153,000 unique visitors in over 8,000 accounts, which all equates to over 210,000 new reports, new table reports loaded every single day. And that number will have increased by the time that I, by the time we get to Empower since I will have done this recording. And all of these numbers are definitely fun, but more importantly, all this activity has helped us make informed choices along the way based on feedback from you guys, our wonderful community. So thank you to everyone who took a survey, participated in a usability, usability session, or submitted feedback. You have been an invaluable part of this process, so thank you again. Before I get into the features, I want to make sure that I talk a little bit more about what GA means for a feature like the table report, where you have a toggle that you can flip back and forth between the old and the new. So in the simplest of terms, GA means that the default will switch to the new experience, but you'll still be able to toggle off to use the old style if you need to. We'll be keeping the toggle around for quite a while uh, while we validate that the new style serves the needs of the QuickBase community, but we will eventually remove it and the new table report will just become the table report. It'll be the default experience. It'll be the only experience. Again, that's not happening anytime soon. We're going to keep the toggle around while we validate that, you know, it's full featured and complete. And we won't take anything away until we've given everyone plenty of warning, but I just mention it here to illustrate our eventual goal. So without any further ado, let's get into the demo portion here and take a look at the features. First, I want to start by calling out a few features that were also present in legacy table reports that we've brought right over into the new table report as well. 
We know that our legacy table reports have a ton of, ton of power packed in there and we brought the most important features right over into the new table report as well. Even though they might be called something different, slightly or in a slightly different place. So first and most obvious are your reports dynamic filters. Dynamic filters are really great because they allow you to filter on fields that aren't columns in the report, so they can save you a lot of space. Instead of finding them on the left-hand side of your report, as you would have in the old style, you can now find them right at the top of your report in these little buttons across the top of your screen. Though they're the same filters that appeared on the left on the left in the old style, so there's no need to go back through and change any of your reports. It should be pretty one-to-one -one when you switch to the new style. We made this change to allow you to fit more data on your screen rather than taking up space on the left-hand side. So now, instead of uh, clicking the choices on the left, you just go ahead and open them up, make a choice in each of these, and then they will appear in these tokens right across the top of the screen. You can also use these to clear them individually, or you can use the clear all option to clear them all out at once. Make that really easy for you. I'll actually come back to these in a minute because I'm not done talking about filtering. We've actually added in an entirely new filtering capability, but on the same note of items that were also present in the old style and where to find them, let's next talk about downloading your report as a CSV. In the old style, you would have accessed this through the more menu and chosen save a spreadsheet. But in the new style, we've actually brought that out from the more menu and put it right on the, uh, the menu bar right up here. You can find it with this little icon, download report as CSV. Just one press and you're able to get that right uh, downloaded for you. We wanted to make this easier for you to access. We found that it was much more often used than email, which was here in the old style as well. So we just wanted to make that really handy, keep that always available for you. All right, next, kind of doing rapid fire through these that you probably already know how to use. Next, we have our pagination controls. You can see that they're always gonna be present right at the bottom of my screen. They're kind of pinned here. That way you don't have to hunt for them. We know that many companies have long reports with many pages of data. So we designed this system to make it easier for you to access all of your data. Now there's no more scrolling to the bottom of your report just to get to another page. Now you can simply go forward or backward one page using these little arrows. You can click on a page that's sort of neighboring to one that you're on directly, or you can type directly into this input box here if you wanna to go to a specific page. So keeping that handy right where you need it all the time so you never have to hunt for it. All right, next, you can see that I also have some color coding on this report. It looks really sleek, it looks really clean. I've got this sort of strong color on the left-hand side and then across the rest of the row, I just have sort of this lighter wash of the same color. This really helps step up the curb appeal aspect of it here that I mentioned earlier because it looks clean. It also helps with readability and makes things a little bit easier on the eyes as well. Though we did add an option, if you do find that you want sort of a stronger wash of color across your screen, you are able to display full coloring. Let me go into my customize report, my report and I'll show you how to set that up. So right in the same section, you can go ahead and choose instead of pale colors, which is the default, you can choose full colors right down here and then go ahead and save. You'll see that this is really attention grabbing. This is gonna be really great if you want your users to not be able to miss these color coded rows. Um, you'll see that you definitely won't be able to miss them here, but this is gonna be, uh, a, it was a something that we heard a lot of feedback about. So we wanted to make sure to include this option as well. And there we go. You can see that these are some pretty strong colors. It'd be pretty difficult to miss uh, the color coding here, but now we have those two different options, full or pale colors. So you can choose which one is best for you. All right, let me switch to a new report here. So I don't have to walk back that change. Awesome. All right, so the last feature that I wanna call out that was also present in the old style that we brought into the new is show more columns. You probably know this by the name, add a column. This feature allows users to select from a list of other fields available on the table and add them into the report right in line. The equivalent of add a column in the old style, but you can find it in the exact same place. If you just go into the column menu, you choose show more columns. Now we've made it even easier for you to find them. You can actually go ahead and search here instead of just scrolling through a list. So if I want my new user in the last six months field, just go ahead and search for it, apply it and boom, I've got that right on my report. We know that you might often be hunting through tables with hundreds of fields on them. So we just, again, wanna make that as easy as possible for you to find what you're looking for. And there we go. And if you wanted to save it, you can just go ahead and save right up here in the menu bar. We made this change uh, actually as well with that. Um, let me just make a change so I can get it to appear again. This you made changes flag right up here. We made this change because we often found that users were overriding reports and the other um, old style was a little bit too prominent and it really made save a little bit too easy to do. So we made it a little bit more subtle right up here, but you can access all the same actions in your menu right up there. 
All right, so next, that's it for features that were also present in the old style that we improved in the new style that I'll highlight. We also added in a bunch of new powerful features that weren't present in the old style that let you interact with the report in a different way. I'm gonna switch to another report for this. All right, here. Okay, great. So first of all, there's a big one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and resize this column a little bit. And there we go. That, that's the feature, I'm resizing this column. It seems like such a small thing, but this is actually huge in terms of usability. And we know that this one has been a long time coming. There were lots of ways to kind of trick the old system and the old table report by maybe adding characters to make your header longer, you know, anything like that. But in the new style, there's no need for any of that anymore. You simply change the width and we'll remember where you put it and we'll remember where you like it. And then the next time you come to this report, it'll stay this way. We'll actually even remember your preferred width if you use a different browser. Since the widths are tied to your user profile, it can go, go cross browser like that. So anyway, seems like kind of a small thing, but it's definitely big in terms of usability. All right, speaking of making customizations to perfect your table report view, the new table report style also allows a couple different customizations you can make to maximize your screen real estate and display the most data possible on your screen. So first, you can always take advantage of our full screen mode right up here in the menu bar. That allows you to get rid of sort of the app and table navigation at the top of your screen and just really focus on your data. It gives a much cleaner look and really lets you just focus in on what you're interested in seeing here. Second, if you want to see even more data on your screen, you can actually choose one of our new spacing options on the report. I've got this one set up in condensed mode because I want—I like to really um, cram as much data on my screen as possible when I'm looking at my table reports. So we really allow you to get the most out of your screen real estate there. Uh, speaking of that condensed mode, you can actually always update that in your user profile. Uh, you may not know this. This one's just kind of like a hidden gem, not specific to new table reports. But if I go up into my Hi Alice in the corner and choose my preferences, I can go ahead and set condensed mode if I'd like to. What I like to do, well, let me back up just a minute. What this will actually do is that this will make all of your quick base views condensed, including forms, not just table reports. So I find that a bit tight. So what I like to do is that I like to keep it at the regular view because I have pretty poor vision, honestly, and I like to keep my forms a little bit, um, a little bit more spaced out. But on table reports, I really like to see my condensed view here. So uh, that allows me to kind of keep that and override that at the table report level. So what we're doing on the new style is that we actually allow you to override this on a report by report basis. So you can have that flexibility and I can have that sort of regular, a little bit of a looser view on forms, but I still get to have this condensed view on all my table reports. This is another setting that we'll remember the next, the next time you come back to this report as well. So there's no need to kind of have to set this up every time. If I come back here tomorrow, it's still gonna be condensed, no worries. All right, okay. Next feature that I'm really excited about that is new in the uh, new style. I'm gonna switch to one more report here. I already mentioned filtering a little bit when I talked about dynamic filters a little earlier. Those are again, right up here. They provide that same sort of workflow driven focus that builders are used to so that they can guide their end users towards what they should filter on. But at the same time, we've also added an entirely new way to filter the report to get insights from your data. If you click on this filter icon right up here that says show column filters, you'll see this row expand right under your column headers. This is called your column filters row. You can see here, I have a filter available for every single field of my report sort of spreadsheet style. And it allows you to really get specific with where you'd like to filter, just in case your builder may not have set up the um, report exactly as you would like, or in exactly the way that is most useful for you, you have some the flexibility to kind of filter on any of these other fields as well. So say I wanted to filter in order number, and I wanted to find order number 1448. No problem, I can just type that in, even though it's not available as one of my, my dynamic filters up here, and I'm good to go. It also allows you to be much more specific with your search, since you're searching in a particular field, rather than searching just all records with a sort of quick search uh, box right up there. So it also uh, pays dividends in terms of performance, if that's something that is important to you as well. So dynamic filters provide sort of that workflow-driven focus, and they provide that um, they provide that focus, but column filters really provide that flexibility. And that's sort of the distinction when I would use both. All right, next, I wanna call out my other new favorite feature. It's our nested collapsible grouping here. So you can see that these look a little bit different than they do in the old style. Let me show you what they look like in the old style, actually. I've got two levels of grouping here, but in the old style, it kind of flattens them out a little bit. So I have sort of first level, hyphen, second level, and they're all sort of the same. It's hard to tell where sort of my Illinois records end here uh, with this sort of 
flat grouping, but in the new style, we make these a little bit more 3D. So we display each level of grouping on a separate line. And you can see that they're sort of more displayed hierarchically. We've got Illinois and then all of the cities underneath there as well. So you can sort of uh, display that, better reflect the hierarchy of those groups as well. That's a helpful visual in and of itself, but my favorite part of this feature is that they are also collapsible. So if I wanna go ahead and just collapse all those groups, I can with just one click, and then I can see all of the states that I have reference for here. Say then I only wanna expand my Iowa orders, and then even more than that, I just wanna, I only care about my Des Moines orders. This allows me to really quickly get a view of kind of what data is important to me and focus in on those specific pieces. This has actually helped me out a ton in my own QuickBase usage. My favorite interaction now is to, whoops, my favorite interaction now is to actually group A to Z by a field, see what I'm looking for, go ahead and collapse it. And then I can, I only need to open up the records that are important to me. So if I'm on a report where my builder hasn't set it up exactly how I'd like, no problem. I can make those changes on the fly and get the data that I need really quickly. We also have some more enhancements planned for these uh, grouping header rows as well. You can see that I've already got the uh, number of records displayed in here, but we also next after Empower is a fast follow are planning to move these totals and averages also to be displayed right up here in line with these as well. So something that we're planning for after Empower. That way you'd have sort of a summary review in one place and then you would be able to drill down right into that, right all in the same place without having to navigate to a separate report. All right, that was kind of rapid fire, but uh, that was those are some of my favorite features in our new table report. I'm gonna switch back to my slides and wrap things up. So these are some of my favorite of the most powerful features that can help you get faster insights from your data and hopefully make QuickBase a little bit easier to use in general. We're also not done improving the new table report experience. So if you have feedback, please submit that on user voice as well. And if you're interested in learning more about the UI refresh project and the new table reports in general, please come to one of these other awesome UI refresh sessions if they haven't already happened by the time that you view this quick hit. So thanks again for coming to this quick hit and spending time with me.